From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee Riley. The chance of scattered storms across the Bay Area remains high today. Shay Ryan will have your full forecast coming up, but first hear your ABC Action News headlines. Neighbors in downtown Clearwater are concerned about their safety as police work to track down the gunman who shot a man in the middle of the parking lot of the Nolan Apartments. People living in the complex on Park Street say they heard at least four gunshots. One witness says he ran over, saw a man covered in blood, holding his stomach. At first, I wasn't worried about it, but after I realized what's happening, yeah, started shaking a little bit, realizing I could have just watched a guy lose his life. Investigators spent several hours overnight collecting evidence. Neighbors say they didn't recognize the shooter or the victim. Tampa investigators tell us they're working to figure out why a Tampa woman allegedly stabbed her roommate to death. Police charge Monica Lozano with second degree murder. Detectives say they found a lot of blood on her clothes and scratches on her face. A woman convicted in 2007 in Polk County of stealing money from a school food voucher program is found guilty of the same crime in Tennessee. Prosecutors say Jeanette Jives Neely used $162,000 from a summer meals program for poor kids to go on shopping sprees and travel. Investigators say there is no evidence that she ever served any meals. President Trump is coming to Tampa one week from today to visit a local high school and support a fellow Republican. The president will promote vocational technical education at Tampa Bay Technical High School. He'll also rally voters to support Congressman Ron DeSantis in the race for governor. We posted a link to get tickets for the rally at the fairgrounds on ABCActionNews.com. Local elections officers are mailing out hundreds of thousands of vote by mail ballots today for the upcoming Florida primary on August 28th. All registered voters can vote in nonpartisan races on the ballot, including judicial and school board contests. You have until August 22nd to request a vote by mail ballot. If you're feeling really lucky, you have until 10 o'clock tonight to buy a Mega Millions lottery ticket. The jackpot is now up to a whopping $512 million after nobody matched all six numbers for the 22nd straight drawing. The jackpot is the fifth largest in Mega Millions history. Until then, we can just drink, Jay. <laughs> All right, well, as far as the rain showers go today, it's going to be a mixed bag. We're going to have some sunshine in the mix. We will have a chance for some showers and storms. I think right around sunset, they'll start to taper off for a couple of hours, only to return overnight and early tomorrow morning. We start the whole thing over again. We'll be making it to highs today near 90. Dia. All right, thank you, Shay. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertFloridaToday.com. Drivers always avoid distractions while driving and focus on the road because safety doesn't happen by accident.